When I first moved here there eight, nine years ago, uh, this was just a big open barn and, and we built this all ourselves. And it's not fancy, but my dad come home, he drives a semi and uh, had a flatbed trailer full of semi trailer sides. They were 52 or four foot long and he had like 20 of them or 30 of them on his flatbed trailer and they were all sagging over. But anyway, he found a junkyard that had them and they, they got rid of them because they had a flaw in them. And, uh, that's what we used instead of plywood. We used the semi trailer sides and, and uh, they were all connected together and we drug them in and just used them like plywood. It worked good because after we bought this place, your funds were a little bit low and you gotta cut corners every time you can. And I'm not much of a carpenter. If I can't cut it with a chainsaw or a sawzall, it, don't need, it doesn't need cut, so. <laughs> The clip in the room, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's 28 foot long by 16 foot wide. Um, and we have two shoots in it, so you know, if you just have, you just want room for one shoot, you wouldn't need, you know, near that size. 16, 16 deep is, is, is a nice number. I mean, uh, we have two shoots in there, so you just put it in half. You know, if you have a 16 by 16 or, or, you know, that size, you're gonna have plenty of room to work and not feel like you're cramped. Um, the one thing we do have in here that I really like are these semi-trailer sides were nine foot tall and that, that's, you, you, if you're going to build one you'll really like the extra height up just for the grooming shoots. I mean it, almost all the grooming shoots people have nowadays are eight foot long. You get a bar in up and down eight foot. If you only have an eight foot ceiling, you're not going to be able to move the bar in that chute. next room here we was in was the cool room and it's about 15 by 18 where the cattle's tied is about 18 foot wide and you need to allow at least 10 foot back from the wall. In this room we just have a, a five fan bone um, cool calf unit. We come from cool calf down there and uh, it works pretty good. And in the other cool room, uh, I don't know if Brad got a shot at it or not, but we've got it, it's got the biggest drop-in unit to cool calf cells and it works real good also. This was the original cool room we built on and, and made another cool room uh, out to the north here. But uh, and, and we tied little baby calves in here and we're getting ready to clip them if they get some worse that are waiting. You know, we don't have a cooler on in the fall. But, uh, the horse rack's about uh, 16 foot wide by 18 foot deep. Uh, it's, it's a nice size when you got one calf, two calves, or trying to do what we're doing. It, it's, it's a nice size horse rack. You don't want to make your horse rack too small. And if you do make a horse rack, put some kind of exhaust fan in it and make sure it's a heavy duty one. Yeah, we just got a tie bar in here. There's one, you know, just a little bit over belt buckle high for the little calves. And we got one up higher for the bigger calves. Those little calves, if you're tying them up second, third, and fourth time, and they're not used to the washing and blowing, you gotta keep them tied a little low, otherwise they're just gonna flip over and be right on their backs. Uh, so you don't wanna keep them, this, this bar actually is a little bit high for little baby kids that aren't broke very good. Um, and we have the posts in here, they're about uh, two and a half, three foot apart, keeps them from swinging back and forth. Uh, from the wall, about, about the same, about two and a half to three foot. I mean, when we're rinsing in the fall, we'll rinse 50, 50 head a day. So we have to have everything work pretty handy. Uh, this is where we put in the new cool room. Uh, we just we just put a lean to on the north side of this farm. We just put a lean to and put a 16 foot room, 16 by 28 foot cool room in here. And uh, so we got a few kids in here. Yeah, when people bring them here, state fair time to get clipped, they've had them in the cool room all summer, so we, we put them in here, what, three or four days we have them here getting ready for state fair. Uh, we just, and, and we'll 
turn the temperature up a little bit each day going into State Fair. We don't want to go from 45 to 95 at State Fair, but we'll still you got to keep a little bit cool. And they're no fun to clip if they're uncomfortable and hot and panting. Uh, that, that's about impossible. We'll spend four hours to eight, nine, ten hours, uh, depending on the calf and how much hair it's got and how they cooperate in the shoot clipping. I guess you never have enough winter. We've been fortunate enough to have a few. Uh, I mean, this past winter, you know, we had champion steer at Sioux Falls and Iowa Expo, uh, champion heifer at Iowa Beef Expo, uh, Reserve of Missouri, and you know, having several calves do very, very good. You know, uh, there's steer out in Ohio that's doing real well. And uh, you. Uh, about the time you think you got it all figured out and you can win every show, that's when you go and you stand third in class every time. So.